In this short quick tip I'm going to show you how to create this cross vault in a few easy steps. This model completely consists of quad polygons, so it's easy to modify this object by placing new edge loops. Ok, let's start with a new layer and go into top orthographic view and add a bezier curve, rotate it about 90 degrees and move it up on the y-axis about one blender unit. Then select the top handle and move it one blender unit to the left. Select both control handles and rotate them until they look smooth. Select the whole thing in edit mode and move it one blender unit to the right. Add a mirror modifier and change the axis to Y and activate clipping. Modify the top handle and make it look like this. Select your object in object mode and press Alt-C to convert it into a mesh. Make sure the origin of your mesh is at the bottom and rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Go into edit mode, select everything and make a duplicate. Move it about 3 blender units on the y-axis. Again, select everything and press W and select the option Bridge Edge Loops. This will create faces between your two profiles. Select everything once again and move your object minus 1.5 blender units down on the y-axis. This will center the origin of your mesh. Select your mesh in object mode, make a duplicate and rotate this duplicate about 90 degrees on the z-axis. Select just one of these two objects and give it a boolean modifier. Set the object to the other mesh and change the mode to union. Apply it and now the boolean modifier will create holes wherever both objects cross each other. Select the remaining copy and simply delete it. Now we've got the base shape done. We just need to make a few little and optional adjustments. In edit mode select everything, press W and remove doubles. In this case it removed 24 vertices. Now select these four edge loops by simply pressing Alt while clicking. Press W and select bevel. Alternatively just press Ctrl B. Drag the mouse until you like the result. Finally just set the shading mode to smooth. Add an edge split modifier to create sharp edges. And last but not least add a solidify modifier to give your object a bit more thickness. In the modifiers list make sure that the solidify modifier comes before the edge split. And now you're done. This was quick tip number 3. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.